Ronnie is ready for some fast food fun with today's game, Burger Time Deluxe, which I have both in Data East and Sunsoft flavor. Let's go ahead and take Burger Time Deluxe. Let's pop it in my Super Game Boy and see how it holds up today. Let's go to the game. Burger Time Deluxe was published by Data East and carries copper year of 1991, coming out about nine years after the arcade original. It also appears to have been later republished by Sunsoft. The back of the box says the following, if you can't take the heat, get out of the kitchen. But if you're looking for a little action, have we got the kitchen for you. A renegade band of giant mutated fast food is after Chef Peter Pepper, led by the biggest wiener of all time, Frankenfurter. The food fiends are out to get the chef and his world famous Giganto Burgers. It's a wild chase through seven levels in the latest edition of the smash hit Burger Time series. Burger Time Deluxe is an arcade style game for one or two players with one standard mode of difficulty. The two player mode requires two Game Boys, two Burger Time Deluxe cartridges, and a Game Link cable. The manual makes the two player version sound like a versus mode where winning a round adds an ingredient to a burger you are trying to build in order to win. Unfortunately, I was unable to try out this cool sounding mode. The single player game is the main meat of the game. Despite what the back of the box says, it only contains six levels, not seven, each with four stages. At the end of each level, you are given a password to continue. For the controls, you move Peter Pepper with the D-pad and press either button to throw a pepper in the direction of an enemy, which can temporarily stun them, allowing you to safely pass through. Your goal in each stage is to build all the burgers by stepping on the ingredients, with clean shoes of course to stay sanitary, causing them to drop one level, unless one enemy is on them, at which point they will drop drop two, and if even more enemies are on them, they will drop more than that. However, once the dropping is done, the enemy will come right back after you. You can squish enemies by dropping ingredients on top of them, although after a while they will return to the play field. The game also features several icons to collect like pepper shakers and coffee cups to get an extra pepper, fries, which kills all the enemies on screen, most likely from instant high cholesterol, chocolate bars, which makes you temporarily invincible, able to stun enemies that you touch, chicken nuggets, which turns all the enemies into hot dogs, and feeder peppers, which are one-ups. It seems that performing certain actions can trigger the icons to show up. In some levels, ladders will also appear when you do a certain action. There are four main enemies in the game, hot dogs, pickles, eggs, and a giant donut. They all have slightly unique personalities, but tend to turn at intersections unless they are close enough to you for them to chase. As you progress in the game, you can face new enemies, tougher level design, and even larger burgers. Scoring-wise, you get 100 points for each ingredient that gets dropped, 500 extra points for dropping one while an enemy's on top, 1,000 points if two are on top, 2,000 points for three and 4,000 points for four, and 500 points for grabbing an icon. You also get 200 points for every enemy you squish with an ingredient. Graphically speaking, I really enjoyed the cartoony look of the game. I also enjoyed the cutscenes in between levels and the in-game music. Family friendly wise, the game would most likely get an E for everyone rating if released today. Currently at PriceTrying.com, the game has a value of $23 loose, $45 complete, and $158 new. So what did I think of Burger Time Deluxe for the Game Boy? I'm a big Burger Time fan, and I must say that not only is this game a worthy sequel, it may actually surpass the original. This might be the best controlling Burger Time game I've ever played. I like the sounds and the look, as well as the variety of levels. I also thought the challenge was just right. My only real complaint is that once I finished it, I was left wanting more. An added arcade mode would have been a nice touch. And while I won't hold it against it, I found the manual very lacking and the back of the box description pretty poor, as it gives you the wrong number of levels and makes your nemesis sound like a purveyor of hot dogs when he really peddles donuts. But nonetheless, it's still a great game that I highly recommend. So where am I going to rank Burger Time Deluxe? It's going to battle Dr. Mario for the top spot. And while I really like both games, I like Burger Time Deluxe just a little bit more. So out of the five games now ranked for the original Game Boy, Burger Time Deluxe is stepping on food in the number one position. Burger Time Deluxe is a must-have for Burger Time fans. But that's just what I think. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Also, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow me both on the Facebook and the Twitter and click the bell so you don't miss any future videos. At this time, I'd like to thank all my generous supporters on Patreon. If you think these videos give you at least $1 per month of information and entertainment, please consider signing up to become a Patreon supporter at patreon.com slash gamer. 
Not only will you help keep the show going, but you may also get a chance to nominate and vote on games for me to review. Thank you for giving me a little part of your day, and I look forward to seeing you next time in the next episode of the Nosewear Gamer. Take care, especially when creating burgers by walking on them.